Good morning, folks. We've got lightning, record weather, Antarctic wow, and a phi angle suspense. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star with nothing of note except the enormous coronal hole. It is trans-equatorial. No sunspots means no flares, and the solar wind at Earth is relatively calm right now. Geomagnetism calm as well as we await the stream from that coronal hole. And the phi angle, which has refused to sustain sun to Earth field pointing, so we're not connected to her yet. Eyes on the phi angle today for that magnetic connection, initiation of the seismic watch, and the solar wind which will arrive early next week. Let's go right to Australia. Mass animal deaths and road melts are resulting from absurd heat waves there. Meanwhile, the opposite end of the scale chills Quebec. They did hit that record mark overnight. And in India where the airport at Delhi had to completely shut down due to ice and cold. Top weather event, however, goes to Bahrain where the sandstorm we've watched for days track into the Middle East from Northern Africa has lost almost none of its potency. Eli Daily Vlog footage there. Let's go next to the moon. Today is the 19th, tomorrow is the 20th, but for those in the visibility zone of the lunar eclipse, most of us see the 21st UTC late on the 20th, tomorrow. When the moon rises tomorrow night, it will come into eclipse position within a few hours. Eyes on it. Up next is lightning. The most detailed and high-power study of lightning has mapped a number of flashes and plotted not only the part of the bolt most of us see, but how the electricity is activated throughout the cloud layer. The full paper is paywalled, but their videos are not. Find them in the supporting information link below. Okay, let's dive deep for our top story. This is a robot diving down the best drill hole ever made in Antarctica, encountering debris in the ice way above its termination into a sub-ice lake where it did eventually reach the bottom, and was able to find evidence of small life that must have lived during a warm period in Antarctica, as recently as in the last 10,000 years. The life indeed came during a warm period, and the debris in the ice hundreds of feet above indicates something other than ice and snow was whipping around. The hint not so subtly given there relates to Earth's catastrophe cycle. Part 10 came out last night, episode 11 is underway here, Website members, your Fly on the Wall podcast will come today in a few hours under the premium section. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.